The following short video has absolutely nothing to do with woodworking. It has to do with audio. And um, none of these companies sponsor me. I have no sponsors, but that's, that's another story. Welcome back to the shop. Not a woodworking video, a video production video. Video. Anyhow, it's about audio. So when I first started shooting uh, videos for YouTube back in 2011, I think, which those videos are no longer available, um, I noticed that people who had microphones could stand anywhere in their shop and get audio to the camera beautifully. Those who didn't, when they were close to the camera, things were fine. When you're far away from the camera, you can barely hear what they're saying. So I invested in a little Sony single receiver lav mic set, which I don't have anymore, that I got for eBay for like $89. And I used it with my, pre my earlier camera and it worked great. And I used it with this camera for a little bit as well. Flash forward to 2018. I decided to up the audio game a little bit, so I bought a Pixel single receiver unit, uh, and it worked great. I liked it. And then we flash forward again to 2019, and Mara joins me in the shop doing projects. So instead of handing the mic back and forth like we initially started doing, I sold the single transmitter set and bought a dual transmitter Pixel set, which worked great. These have more features than the Sony set, obviously. Flash forward to 2020, July specifically. The FCC allocated this frequency that these are on, 600 megahertz, to the to set to the mobile systems or cell systems. One of the, I don't know what part of it, but mobile systems, smartphones, and that technically made this set illegal because I couldn't transmit or receive on them. Now I haven't interfered with my neighbors or anything going on. That's fine, but I decided. But, but this started to act up and make scratchy noises and have. And I just said, well, what the heck? Why don't I just make myself legal and get a better unit? So I invested in a Hollyland. This is the box it comes in and the box they store in. A dual transmitter. One I'm wearing, one is, out, one is right here. This is the size of the transmitter. Notice the difference. Internal, internal antenna, external antenna. 2 gigahertz, 600 megahertz. 300 foot range, not quite. It says it has 300, but it's not quite 300 foot range. This picture shows you um, the, uh, the receiver on top of my camera, and it works really, really well. And also, a lot of adjustments you can make. It's very, very, very flexible. This is, has a built-in mic, so you can do like some people on YouTube do, is wear it on your hat brim or something, or back here, or wear it right here. They came with some lav mics, which I like to use these instead. It also came with the fuzzy dead animals that go on top of the microphone. So you can shoot outside in the wind and hopefully it knocks the wind noise down. The box it came in is the charging station. But the cool thing about it is even if you don't have this plugged in, this has a battery pack in it. We'll charge these units two and a half times on just what's in here. The advantage is this uses AA batteries. You go through a lot of AA batteries. This doesn't use any any external batteries, you just basically charge it up and go. So real happy with this. Um, this video comes in between two segments of, of a shoot I'm doing right now on a project. So that project, that, that first video will be published in a couple of weeks, but I'm going to publish this one now just to give a heads up on what's going on. So illegal, now legal, make, not doing well, doing much better. So with that said, make great things out of wood and uh, shoot some fun video with good audio.